Okay. All right, lie down onto your back and draw your knees in. And circle your knees all around. And Ron, I can't see you, just letting you know in case you want to be seen. And take the knees wide apart and circle them together. Use this as a way of checking in with the body, seeing how your back is feeling. Switch direction. And then as if you were on a bike, start to pedal through your feet. And imagine you had the bike on like a fairly medium resistance. So as you push through the pedals, you're, re you're feeling that imagine resistance below your feet. And as you bend the knee, you're imagining pulling the pedal up. So there's a sense of pressing and pulling at the same time. The knee that's bending is drawing in and pulling something and the leg that's extending is pressing something. And you can add your hands for just a little more of a kinesthetic relationship between the hands and legs, arms and legs and whole body integration. Think of that pulling, pressing action um, being facilitated with the, or um, in cooperation with the hands and arms. And then hold on to the front of the left leg and extend the right leg up. So bend the left knee. Sarah, we can't see you. Oh no, really? We only see your feet, basically. Oh, okay. Okay. And, it was, and it's very dark. Yeah, better. Okay. Better. Oh, you know what? I changed the angle when I was sitting close. Is that better? I think. Well, go go lay down, and I'll tell you. <laughs> and then I'll I'll mute me. Yeah, much better. Much better. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, you're holding the front of the left shin, right leg is up, and then switch. Hold the front of the right shin, left leg is up, and start to flex and point your foot. Thanks, you guys. And slow this down and start to differentiate your toes and the sole of the foot and the ankle. And the next time you're in that dorsiflexion, toes are reaching toward your face, reach up and Add a little bit with your hands. So if you can hold the ball of the foot, hold there. If not, hold the back of the leg and press into the calf muscle with your fingers. But we want to have some calf sensation here. If you have the foot, pull the ball of the foot toward you and extend up through the hammer of the heel, through the center of that heel, and draw the leg a little bit closer to you. Then send the leg down, so release with your hand and send it all the way down. Let it sprout roots into the ground. Holding on to the right shin, circle your right knee. <sighs> and use this as a way to massage the back and the intestines. Switch directions. And by that I mean pull the leg in close. Stabilize everywhere else. And then hold your right leg and open it to the right. Flex your right foot and take your right hand behind the leg. So it's on the outside. And push your leg into your hand and your hand into your leg. You might feel this in the outer right hip. That would be great. And really try to smush your hand and the hand resists. The hand's pushing. And now you might feel it in the inner leg. 
and then lift your right foot just a tiny bit so you're increasing that external rotation of the right thigh. And then move the hand away and see if the leg opens up a little more, if more the knee drops even closer to the floor. And then press it in because that goes, you go past your normal flexibility, you want to help yourself out. Bring the knee into the middle, reach your right arm out and roll your right ear toward the floor as you bring your knee over to the left. What I found over the years is that if you extend the arm out first, the shoulders are more likely to stay pinned to the ground, which we want, and the chest is more likely to stay open toward the ceiling. Otherwise, we get overzealous with the knee. And then with your left hand, sweep the skin of the right side body by just brushing your hand down toward the hip and letting the skin roll toward the front of the mat where your feet are. And you'll feel, if this is working, that your waist will narrow. Ooh, and you're in a pretty deep twist. Reach through your left toes and out through the head and breathe in deeply. And take your time really slow. Let the air out. Slow. And then reach through your right arm, roll on your back. Bend both knees, pull them into your chest, squeeze yourself. Pull in so far your hips lift off the ground. Yeah, and then keep holding the left shin and lift up through your right leg and start to open up that right foot. Flexing and pointing. And start to differentiate each toe, and the ankle, so it's not just this thing like a gas pedal, but it has all the dexterity that your hand has. Can you imagine? Some of you have that more naturally than others. I don't. I have a, just a lump on the end of my shin until I start to do this. And then the next time it's flexed, reach somewhere along the leg and start to maybe massage into the calf muscle. Also kind of punching it works. That's more your style. Or hold the foot, add a little bit of weight, and extend up through the heel. And at the same time, you're driving the thigh bone into the hip socket, which creates a lot of fun sensation. Drive a little bit toward you if you have that range. Now, keep it right where it is, but remove the hand and then slowly extend it down. Take the time to let it root. Find your stabilizers and take your hands to your um, upper ribs and just weave your fingers toward each other. So the fingers go toward the midline and think of wrapping the ribs toward one another. And then continue with your hands down your torso and Think of all these muscles, these, the horizontal muscles going in toward each other. And then circle your left knee. Keep the torso, that core, wrapped. As though you put this corset around you. Keep that all tightly bound in. Loosen it just enough that you can breathe. And then switch directions with that leg. And make sure you're pulling it in really close. And then open it to your left. Stabilize again, draw those muscle fibers, the horizontal muscle fibers in toward each other. And pull the leg a little bit as you stretch it open toward the side. Reach behind it, so hold behind it, and press the leg into the hand, and the hand into the leg. Flex your left foot, and push. Push leg into hand, hand into leg. This side on me does not press as well. Does not, does not. Hello, Lola. Hello. 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 
and then leave the leg there, remove the hand and see if, just notice what happens. And then draw the knee to the middle. Extend the left arm out to the side and turn your left ear toward the ground and twist across. Flatten the back of your left hand and with your right hand, sweep the left side. Outer left hip toward the front of the mat and you'll feel the waist narrow. And then put the hand on the knee and breathe as you extend out through your toes and back through the head. And exhale, open your chest. Pin the shoulders to the ground. Continue breathing, obviously. Take a deep breath. And a slow exhale. One more like that, inhale. And exhale. Reach to your left arm and roll onto your back. Hug your knees again. And then stack your knees over your hips and press your hands onto the front of the thighs. Push. Push hands into thighs and thighs into hands. And feel those stabilizers turn on again. Draw your shoulders down. Pull your belly in. This is great if your back ever hurt. This is great. And then take the hands to the outer legs and press the legs out into the hands and the hands resist. And then to the inner thighs and press the thighs into the hands and the hands push out. Uh, and this realign. So if, if your back is uncomfortable, you've heard it a little bit, this, and it's not too bad, sometimes just this helps these hand positions with resistance. And then hug the front of the shins again and rock up to sit. Good morning, everybody. So glad you're here. Um, so what you guys earlier, what happened was when you couldn't see me, Dawn unmuted herself and let me know. That's a really good way to do it because I can't see this far away. I can't be in the screen and see you guys. So um, see like writing. It's too far. I can see you, but I can't see the writing. So if you need to let me know something, just unmute yourself and let me know. So, well, I'm trying to say it. We're going to work on Parjbal Konasana today, side angle. We're going to break it down just a little bit. We're going to look at its components. Um, and side angle is a side flexion pose. So it's, it's flexion, it's a bend, and it's an extension of the side body. So we'll start with that. So find a seat. And actually, before we start with that, we'll just find our breath. I'm going to close my door. It's a little quieter. So find a comfortable cross-seated position, or if you're not comfortable in a cross-seated position, you could sit up on a block or a prop of a book or something. And if you have blocks with you, that's a good idea for today because you'll, you'll want them. If you don't have a block at home, get a thicker book. That will work too. And then you can have your hands facing up or down and the eyes are neither open or, they're somewhere between just gently open, almost closed. Root down through both sits bones. Lift the shoulders and open the chest and then drop the shoulders down. Start to breathe through your nose. And if it feels better to close the eyes, go ahead. And let yourself kind of slide toward the back of yourself. Let your personality, your sense of who you are, let it move toward your back body. Become aware of the expansion as you breathe in and the gentle contraction as you breathe out.
hearing the sounds in your space. Feeling the temperature on your skin. We slowly recruit our senses as we breathe in the subtle sense of smell. sense of Keep letting the mind settle. As you experience the sensation of the breath within the body. And for your next exhale, see if you can go all the way to the bottom of that breath before an inhale. And it's farther than you may be accustomed to going. Feel the contraction of the midsection to push that breath out. And pause there until the inhale spontaneously occurs. Go to the top of that inhale. And pause there. And when the, it's time to exhale, you'll know Exhale the breath out. Contract your sitting bones, flex your feet, and drag the sit bones a little bit closer toward each other to tone the pelvic floor and breathe in again. And notice if it's a little easier to hold that breath. And pause and let everything soften as you hold. Keep the tone in the pelvic floor, exhale. Pause at the bottom. Inhale. Slight contraction in the throat. Sip the air as though through a straw in your nose. Hold as the chest begins to expand. Keep that chest lifted and open as you exhale. And then let your eyes, if they're not open, blink open and reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to the heart. And switch the cross of your legs. Inhale, push the hands together. Feel that midline, push, push, push. Elbows go wide to the sides of the room. And then reach your palms up, look up. Extend through your sides, your back, lift your back ribs up. And then take your left hand. So I'm not gonna mirror you. I'm gonna take my left hand up. Oh, I'm gonna mirror you. Take your left hand up to the side and reach your right arm up and over your right ear. Externally, rotate your right arm so that the bicep is right on the side of your face. Pin your right sits bone down. Is it as pinned as the left? I'm using my left hand to get my right sits bone more down. And then turn your right ribs toward your left ribs. So our sides are extending and flexing. Maybe look up under that right arm so the nose is in the bicep. And reach through your fingers more. Rotate your right shoulder, uh, sorry, your left shoulder back. Your left shoulder back. It's gonna wanna cheek forward. 
Instead, turn your ribs more, left ribs to right ribs, and reach. Firm your belly, push down through the hand on the floor, and come on back up. Pause, and go back to that complete sense of breathing. Toning the pelvic floor, toning the throat, full inhalation, propped up by the body, hold, and complete exhalation to purify the body. Bend over toward your right side. Reach the left arm up by the ear. Externally rotate at the head of the arm bone and take your right shoulder back. Your right shoulder might already be cheating forward. Take it back. Bend more to the right. Pin your left sits bone down. I'm doing that with my muscles of my body, also with the hand. Squeeze your waist in and rotate your right ribs toward your left ribs. Use your right shoulder blade, draw it down to turn even more as you reach to your left fingers. Maybe turn your head more, nose into the left bicep. Maybe it's appropriate to reach out even farther to the right. Push down through that left sits bone. Engage those horizontal muscles, those tensile muscles, the transverse abdominis in, and reach back up with your torso. Both arms lift. Notice that that's a little easier now. Reach up through your thumbs, your back ribs. It is for me, a little better. And then bring your arms down by your side. Let's all stand up. Stand on up. Hopefully you can see me. Check. I think so. And legs together, feet together. Inhale, reach your arms up by your ears. We don't see your head. Don't see my head, okay. Let's see. Uh -huh. Just reach up, side yeah. ribs, and then use your thumbs and pick up your back ribs. Use your pinky fingers, pick up your front ribs. Take the horizontal muscles, the corset muscles, and try to narrow everything, uh, the whole core, and then open your arms out to the side. Chest is open, hips are squeezing in, feet are plugged in, evenly pushing into the floor, palms turned down. Okay, now you're gonna take your left arm up to the, do I need that? No, take your right arm up to the sky and externally rotate the right arm. Lean toward your left. Push down through that right hand Sorry, is that your right hand? Yes, right hand. And no, left hand. I shouldn't marry you. And reach that arm over, the right arm over the ear. And keep bending the body toward this side. Let the head go between the arms and keep reaching. Plug it through the feet. Turn your left ribs toward your right ribs. Squeeze the hips so this doesn't hurt your back. Squeeze the hips and bend. Maybe the nose goes into the arms. It's what we did seated. It's different standing, obviously. Squeeze the hips, push down through the feet, turn your left palm up. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Shake out the shoulders. Who knew just that could be so hard? But it can be. And then press down through your feet. Zip up through your midline and course it in. That will stabilize you. Yeah, inhale, both arms up. Pick up all your ribs and then bring your arms down to shoulder height. Turn the palms, internally rotate the arms and turn the palms down. Now, externally rotate that left arm and reach it up by your ear. Push down through your left foot and start to bend 
over toward the right. And start to reach, plug in through both feet. Right now is a good time to squeeze the hips in, pelvic floor engages, and turn your right ribs toward your left ribs. Reach, turn your nose into your biceps. Bowing the ribs to the right, oh sorry, that way, left. Bowing the ribs to the left. Reach, and reach. Stabilize. Yeah, good. Turn the right palm up, inhale both arms up, and look up at the ceiling. Yeah, squeeze your hips, both arms lifting, fingers lifting, arms are super long. Hopefully your side ribs release some. And then like your wine bottle opener, internally rotate, press down through the hands, resist. Pressing, the head pops up higher. Like you're pulling a cork out. Head goes higher, head goes higher. Feel your back body turn on. You're like a rocket now. Head is like skyrocketing up. And now stand, bring your chin horizontal to the ground. And just notice your posture. Equal standing, Samas Titihi. Hips are drawing in, corset is on, neck is long, and breath can flow easily. Let's take down dog. Take your time setting up your dog. Step your feet back into down dog. Bend the knees and rotate your inner thighs toward the back. Rotate inner thighs back. Knees are bent so sits bones can pop up. Lift your sits bones up, up, up. Corset your front ribs in and maybe straighten the legs. Claw the floor with the fingers and push the floor away. Your side body Response because it's long now and just shake out the head. Externally rotate the arm bones and it's tricky because the hands are rooted on the floor. But at the same time, it gives you more stability to feel that external rotation. And then walk your hands to where your feet are. Bend the knees if you need the slack here and use your stomach muscles. Inhale, lengthen. Extending the spine, heart goes forward. Find that little back bend. Draw the shoulder blades closer together. Lift the sits bone and then fold. Hug the shins in. If you want to add to this stretch, lift your palms and hold your elbows. Slide the elbows in line with the tops of the ears, adding the weight of the arms. Unfurl your side ribs. Firm your legs, whether they're bent or straight. Loosen the neck. Head moves side to side, forward and back. Breathe through the nose. Completely exhaling. Pausing before and inhale. Returning to the quiet in the mind that you found in that meditation. And then let your hands go and pad them forward once again into down dog. Leading the heels planted this time, the emphasis is on the side body lengthening and maybe sensation in your calves. Walk hands a little further forward if you cheated the length and then spin both of your heels to the right. Bow your ribs up, push and lengthen that left side. Push to that left arm as the hips lift. Left hand is down and you're feeling this maybe in the left ribs, left side body. I feel it in the serratus and the lats, push through the thumb. Turn your right ribs toward your left ribs, same thing. And come back to the center. Bend the knees, lift the sits bones, get a nice deep sort of 
animal like dog cat stretch here. And then spin your heels to the left. Push the right hand deeper into the floor. Bow the right side of the ribs up. Push through your right hand. Firm your belly muscles. Turn left ribs to right ribs. Push through the right hand. And send your heels back. Walk your feet forward to where your hands are. Use the belly. Inhale, lengthen the spine, sits bones back and apart. Exhale, push through the floor, fold. Tuck your chin, squeeze the legs, make them really firm. Inhale, rise up, lift through the chest. Reach the arms up overhead. And then press down through your hands, turn them toward the floor. Resist, resist to get even taller. Samastitihi Tadasana, arms by your side. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive over forward bend. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step your left foot back and then your right foot back. Bend your knees to the floor and come up onto your knees just a moment. So at the upper ribs, I want you to wrap in. So just take your hands to the rib cage and weave your fingers toward the midline a few times. And think of the muscle fibers engaging that way. Yeah. And then interior obliques coming from here, from this midline, they kind of go out toward your butt pockets. So you had back pockets. So interior obliques go this way. And external obliques start at the waist and go toward your inside pockets. So there's oblique angles. See so if you can draw the transverse abdominals in with these side horizontal fibers. And then maybe just in your mind, hold internal and external obliques Engage as well. Bring the hands to the floor again. Come on to all fours and squeeze all those muscles in, which is a lot of interesting work, I think, those stabilizers. And maybe you can feel them all just now that we've identified them. And extend your right foot back. Reach your left arm forward. Lift your right leg if you can, and then recourse it if those muscles have relaxed, the midline. Reaching out. And then bring the hand down and the knee down. And extend your left leg back and up. And corset your midsection and reach your right arm forward. And we've developed a lot of length already, so you can use that. Reach through your fingers and back through your foot, but stabilize at the transverse abdominals. The rectus abdominis keeps it all in, like an ice cream sandwich. And then bring the knee down, hand down. Tuck your toes, arch your back, hammock just to get that nice release in the back. Nice cow, head up, tailbone up, and then pull your knees up. Drag your hands toward your feet and your feet forward toward your hands and corset all those muscles. Feel your arms and down duck. Breathe here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift your heels up, bend the knees, push down, jump. You probably had a ton of power to your hands. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, and fold. Inhale, circle, rise up, tailbone toward the floor, arms high. Wide opener, arms down to the side, head lifts. Inhale, Surya A, inhale, breathe up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot steps back, then the left. Corset everything. Drop your knees to the floor. Pick your feet up. Corset again, tip forward. Keep those muscles strong as you bend the elbows, but lift the shoulders. Hover just above the floor. Squeeze your elbows in, and then press your feet down. Inhale to cobra, chest goes forward. Shoulder blades squeeze in and chest lifts up. Chin goes up. 
Bend the knees, tuck the toes, push the hips back, downward dog. Breathe here. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, push down, jump up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rest. Tailbone down, side body long. One, open our arms down, head lifts up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, jump to chaturanga if you feel it, or continue alternating legs. Low push up, elbows in. Up dog, point your toes and roll your heart up, or continue as we did before. Down dog, hips go high. Breathe. Contract the muscles in your throat, corset the front body. Stabilize it and now push through your hands. Use even more. See, John, see if you can open those armpits up and get more length. Randy, sit bones higher. Yes, inner thighs back. Doing great. Breathe. Mm hmm. Neely, really suck those front ribs closed. Inhale, lift your heels, Heather, too. Exhale, bend your knees and push down, travel up. Inhale, lengthen, shoulder blades. Good, Allison, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, rise up. Hi, Sally, add a little back bend. Reach back, little back. Hi, Magdalena, hi, Mama. Reach back, hi, Carlton and Mary. And arms down by your side. Let's do one more for heat. Inhale, your head starts. Inhale, reach your arms up. Feel big bump. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, so sorry, one ice again. Exhale, jump back, low push-up. Christine, jump to low push-up or don't jump. Inhale, up, exhale, back. Breathe. Slow your breath down. Externally rotate the arms so the biceps turn toward the camera. Externally rotate. Heather, that's more internal. Turn it the other way. Other way. There, there, there. Breathe. Good. More legs. Use your thighs. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Travel up. Inhale, look up. Really sit bones back. Exhale, fold, beautiful. Inhale, rise up. You can't even believe how tall you are. Middle fingers, Mary, pick your back ribs up. Carlton, pick back ribs up. And arms down by your side. All right, um, you're gonna step out wide. So step out wide to the horizontal part of your mat and put, if you have blocks, put them behind where your feet are. So behind, on the back side of your mat um, and just off the mat for now. And then stand with your feet wide enough that they are underneath your wrists. So we usually don't go far enough. Make sure you can see me. Um, and stabilize your legs a lot. So, Tighten all the muscles that you can find on the sides, both the insides and the outsides, and the fronts and the backs. So make them really wide awake and powerful. Push down through your feet. Stabilize. The hips squeeze in. Tailbone down. These side muscles moving in. Yeah. And sandwich it all in with those rectus, that eight pack. And then take the arms out. Take the arms out. Just feel yourself really strong. Externally rotate both arms, palms up to the ceiling. 
and reach them up at a 45 degree angle. Look up, then bend the elbows. Push your hips down, lift your torso up, and squeeze your elbows back. This puts you in a bit of a back bend before we do anything. Keep this back bend as you start to fold forward. Squeeze your belly in. And continue down toward the floor, bringing the head down between the feet or in that direction. Wake up those legs, make sure they're still on, and then bring the hands down. Squeeze the elbows in and reach the head toward the floor. Slide the shoulder blades toward your butt and tip your hips so that your sits bones lift toward the ceiling and the weight goes toward the balls of the feet. Breathe and notice the soles of your feet. Are you more connected to one side or the other? Squeeze those front ribs closed, side ribs open. Inhale, push down through the feet, lift toward that back bend, look forward and up. Bring your hands to your hips, stabilize, inhale, rise. Take your arms up to the side. Turn your left foot to the right. Turn your right foot so the right foot is perpendicular to the short edge of the mat. Bend your right knee. Open the arms and lift your right outer hip up. Isometric contraction. Press those feet apart. Press those feet apart and feel your outer hip squeeze in. Back foot roots to the floor. Reach your right arm forward and rest your right forearm on your top thigh. Take your left hand to your left hip. Turn your right ribs toward your left ribs. Tuck your tailbone under and try to lengthen that right glute, right butt. Reach your left arm up and by your left ear. Externally rotate that left arm. Turn right ribs toward left ribs. If it's okay, slide the right hand down inside the leg. Maybe put the hand on that block. Try the highest height. Turn right ribs toward left ribs. Maybe switch to the medium height. Push down through your legs. Maybe switch to the lowest height. Breathe here. Keep turning right ribs toward left. Stabilize back foot. Squeeze belly muscles, reach left arm up, come back up to stand. Turn your right foot in and your left foot out. Bend your left knee. Open the arms out to the side. Reach through your right leg, plant that foot. Turn your chest, more open, more square. Reach through your left arm. Bring your left forearm down. Externally rotate the right arm palm towards ceiling. Bring that right arm over your ear. Close your front ribs, so squeeze them in, and then turn your left ribs toward your right ribs. Take that left shoulder back, because that's going to want to cheat forward. Turn, nose into right armpit, right biceps. Slide the left hand down, if that's okay. Highest height of the block. Push down through that right leg. Push out through that left knee. Use your arms to help push that left knee out. Maybe lower the block under your hand. But do prioritize turning the torso. Lowest height of the block maybe. Reach through the right side body. Kick down through that right foot. Engage your stomach muscles. Stand up, Woo. straighten your left leg, turn both feet in, bend the knees, hop or step your feet together. Samastitihi, legs together, feet into the floor, head high. Open chest. Feel the alignment of your body in the standing position. Fingers extend toward the ground. 
Okay. So we're gonna take this at a different angle. Tree pose. Your left foot will be the standing foot, which in the pose that we're about to do, side angle again, will be the um, back leg. So your left, your, your trunk leg is your back leg for now. Turn your right leg out. So you're on the ball of the right foot, turn the knee out. Then pick the foot up, use your hand, and place it along your upper left thigh. You can use a wall if you need to. Push the foot into the thigh and the thigh into the foot. And take the arms out to the side. Turn the palms up. Reach the left arm up by your ear. Yeah, and turn toward your left arm. Turn your right ribs toward the left. Externally rotate your standing leg, that upper left thigh, and see if you can turn more. As you turn, maybe whoop, bend toward that right leg. Squeeze your belly, press down through the trunk, turn your knee forward, reach up, and both feet down. Ooh. All right, shake it out a little bit. So what I want to show you is when we turn toward, try this again, lift your right heel. Wait, yes, your right heel, turn your right leg out. What we do is we turn the hips, right? So naturally when we turn that leg out, the hips go to the right too. Why I'm having you do tree is because I want you to try this with hips staying forward. It's asking a lot, but when we get to that side angle, but let's try to train it. So turn the right knee out, but squeeze those frontal hip bones, those ASIS forward, anterior superior part of the pelvis, these things, these handles, turn these forward. Lift the right foot up into tree. Keep everything forward that isn't this right leg. Now, lift that right knee up, hold the big toe if you can, or somewhere on the leg with your right big two fingers, these fingers. Yeah, grab somewhere there. And see if you can lift that right knee higher. Push the arm into the leg and the leg into the arm. Yeah, now keep it there. See if you can let go of the grip. And just push the arm into the leg and the leg into the arm. With your hips staying forward, right hip under. Try not to lift that right hip up high. Externally rotate your left leg. Yeah, lift both arms. Leave the leg. Bring the knee to the middle and bring it down. So fun, right? Now just feel your body. Your outer hips might be working well, we hope. And then take your feet apart. Open out the arms. Have your block on the right side if you have it, so behind your right heel. And turn your left foot in. Turn your right foot out. Bend the right knee. Hips, stay forward. They're gonna wanna turn to the right. For today, try to keep them forward. It's a lot. What we did in tree, we apply here. Externally rotate that left hip. Externally rotate that left hip. Open the arms. Push through the feet. Yeah, so you're in warrior two. Course at these front guys. Mm -hmm. Tailbone is under. Reach through that right arm. Take the right hand to the inside of the right ankle. Push the arm into the leg and the leg into the arm. Externally rotate left arm, bring it by the ear. Turn right ribs toward left ribs. Your left leg is still that tree leg. Externally rotate the top of the left thigh. See if you can move the block from the inside to the outside of the leg. Reach, side long. Don't turn toward your right leg. So if you need to go up higher, do. Turn right ribs toward left ribs. Reach, press knee into arm, arm into leg. Course at your belly, inhale, come up. Whew. Straighten your right leg, turn your feet in, and step or jump Whew. your feet together. Feet down, I feel like the lighting is weird. <sighs> and find your Tadasana, Samastitihi. Sarah, you're just a shadow because of the window, the light from the window just makes you a shadow. Yeah. There we go. 
you're still pretty dark, but better. <laughs> oh. It seems to just be the Zoom. Yeah. I don't know. Better? Not really. A little bit. Um, okay. Oh yeah, maybe I can move the camera. Feet together and stand in on both feet. And we're gonna turn your left foot out. Yeah. Turn your left foot out. And you, oh, that's better. And you're gonna pick up your left leg. Left hand to left ankle. And then place the foot somewhere along the right leg. Stabilize. Squeeze your hips in. Externally rotate your right leg. Yeah. Take both arms out to the side. Turn the palms down. Press your left foot into your right thigh and vice versa. So you get a really strong grip there. Turn your right palm up and reach your right arm up by your ear. Turn your left ribs toward your right ribs. Maybe, I think it's hard. Bend toward your left knee. Ooh. Wobbling tree. Externally rotate that right leg. Ooh. Bend both arms up. And I lost it. Turn your left knee in and bring it down. Tree pose again. Sorry, standing pose again, Tadasana. I just don't like the windows, the curtains. And we'll do it again with that funky variation. Turn your left toes out. Pick your left foot up. Put the foot somewhere along your thigh, hand, right hand at your hip. Reach down, grab somewhere along your left leg. I recommend the toes if you can get them. And then stand up as tall as you can. Tailbone down, externally rotate your standing leg. Lift your left knee. Try not to lift the hip, keep the hips level, and then let go. Press. The knee into the arm and the arm into the leg. Stabilizers. Externally rotate top of right thigh more. Press the leg and arm arm into leg. And then release. Bring it down. Feet together. Stand. Now, we'll go back to that side angle pose. Hop your feet apart. Have a block with you. Have it on the inside of the foot. Turn your left toes out, right toes in, bend your left knee. What I'm looking for today is that the hips stay forward. It is asking a lot of our hips. Externally rotate, top of right thigh, open the arms. Firm the arms and reach that left side long. Bring that left hand down, rotate left ribs toward right ribs. Externally rotate right arm and sweep it over the ear. Reach, outer left butt goes down, course at the ribs, push through that back leg, reach. Press arm into leg, leg into arm. Turn ribs up. Maybe take the hand to the outside of the foot. Press leg into arm, open. Course at everything, inhale, come on up. Straighten that left leg, turn the feet in. Hop the feet together, step the feet together. How'd that feel? Interesting? All right, let's take it into a flow just to get some heat going. Feet at the top of the mat, bend the knees, sit to chair. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, left foot then, right foot steps back. Good, low push up, elbows in. Core sit the front, inhale, up top. Hold your core in. Lift and open your chest. Exhale, push back, down dog. Right leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip. So here we have that lunge again, just in a totally different position. But it's similar, flex your right foot. And imagine you're pushing through that foot like you would on the floor in a moment. Then square your hips, step your right foot up between them, hands. 
Spin your back heel down, warrior two. Reach the right arm forward to the outside of the right foot. Sweep the left arm over the ear. Push down through that left foot. Press the pinky edge of the foot down. Turn right ribs toward left ribs. Reach. Stabilize core muscles. Inhale, rise. Reverse warrior. Stretch that right side long, right palm over toward the back of your mat. Cartwheel the hands down, plank. Let's stay here. Spin your heels to the right, bow the left side of the ribs. Center, heels to the left, bow the right side up. Push through the right hand. Center, low push up. Inhale, up dog, stabilize. Exhale, down dog. Left leg up. Bend the knee, open your hip. Push through your left foot as though you were in a lunge. So that upper foot, imagine resistance there, push. Square the hip, step your left foot up. Warrior two. Open the chest. Left arm reaches, left hand down. Right hand externally rotates the shoulder, arm over ear. Turn, left ribs toward right ribs. Push to that right foot. Stand through that right side. Close your front body. Breathe. Stand up, reverse warrior. Turn right ribs toward left ribs. So nice. Cartwheel the hands down. Step back, plank. Modify or not, spin your heels right. Stack the feet, side plank, left arm high. Maybe left foot goes into tree. Maybe you grab the left toes and just because you feel like it, you stretch that left leg high and look up. Release the toes, come to plank. Heel spin left, right arm goes up. Maybe that right foot goes into tree. Maybe you grab the toes. Maybe you extend the leg for fun. Using all the things. Try not to fall. Plank. Low push-up. Inhale, up. Mm. Bend the knees to the floor. Child's pose. Rest your head on your hands. Push your seat down. Rock from buttock to buttock. From heel to heel. Gentle massage. Then let the head fall. Pull the belly in, roll up. Reach the arms up. Side body long, turn to your right. Bring the arms parallel to the floor. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind. Turn left ribs toward right ribs. Inhale, raise the arms up by the ears. Twist, don't use your arms yet. Turn from your muscles. If you need to, the toes are tucked under. Turn to your left. Hips stay forward, then use the arms. Right hand to left knee. Turn your right ribs toward your left ribs. Arms go out to the side, inhale up, and exhale, arms down. We're gonna sit on our butt. So if you need to find a block to sit on or a pillow to sit on, we're gonna take the legs apart. Another way to modify this is to bend the knees. I like this a lot. Let's all start here. So bend the knees, press your arms into your legs and your legs into your arms. Find that resistance. Often this is enough to straighten the legs without pain. Sometimes it's not. It takes a few times for the body to trust you. So find a way to sit like this. It might be up on a seat or knees bent that you can do. Okay, we're gonna turn, arms up to the right and bring your right hand down. Take your left arm slightly back. Externally rotate that right shoulder now because it's gonna pop forward. So place it, sweep that left arm by the ear. So same thing, energize the legs, turn right ribs toward left ribs. Pin your left side down, staying here, or maybe you rest out over that right leg. And the idea is we're turning 
It's a twist, inflection, flexion, bending, twisting, side body. Reaching through that left arm, maybe you hold the foot. And come on up. Make sure the outer hips are squeezing in so you're strong and stabilized. Yeah. Reach out over your left leg. Place your left hand down. Take your out, uh, front of your left shoulder back. Turn your left ribs toward your right ribs. And reach your right arm over your ear. Reach and reach. Turn your left ribs. Pull left shoulder blade on the back. And reach. Maybe you stay here. Course at the front body. Maybe you reach out and rest over that left leg. Turn into your upper arm. Find your breath. It's not easy. Find it here. Firm your body. Inhale up. Bend the knees. Bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale, holding feet or ankles are somewhere. Lift your chin and fold. Press your knees to the floor. Oh, inhale up. Hands to the outer legs, close the knees. We're going to lie down, have a block with you. Lie down on the floor, take the block, put it between your thighs, and squeeze it. So we did all this opening today. We're now going to, to close, we're going to counter this regroup. So squeeze that midline, toning in the opposite direction from the whole rest of the time of class. Roll the shoulders down. This is more about recalibrating than a back bend but squeeze the block, lengthen the tailbone toward the feet, and pick the hips up. Push your hands down. You can grip them out if you want. Keep the chest pretty close. Corset those ribs and just keep squeezing the block. Your sacrum can stay on the floor or lift it higher. Just prioritize the squeezing in. You can bring your feet in a little bit as you squeeze. And if you want, keep lifting the hips. Stretches that front body, so as rectus. Push down through the feet. Keep squeezing in. Squeeze, I'm starting to shake. I don't know about you guys, shaking, shaking, shaking. These are my weakest muscles, I think, some of them. And then slowly lower down. Rock the pelvis forward, rock it back, and take the block out. Walk your feet out to the edges of the mat. Windshield wipe the legs. Drop the knees to the right side and sweep your arms over your head. Grab hold of the left wrist. Tuck your tailbone toward your left knee. And extend that left side body. Turn your right ribs toward the left ribs and pull. Relax your grip. Engage the psoas, those deeper belly muscles. Knees come up and over to your left. Yeah. Press through the feet. Extend your tailbone toward your right knee. Grab hold of the right wrist. Pull. Turn your right ribs toward your left ribs. Pull. Press through your feet. Inhale back to the center. Release your hands. Wrap yourself up. Hug. Hug your knees into your chest. <sighs> Hold on to the right leg. Extend the left leg toward the Shavasana. Release your right leg and extend your right leg. Lift your head. Rock your head. Side to side. Let the head. Just be this heavy ball in the palms of your hands. 
Just let the hands navigate your head. And then walk your fingertips down to the occiput and hold the whole weight of your head on those fingertips. Like a little stand. Claw into that space. Gently prodding it. A reset for your cranial nerves. And then slowly lower the head. Snow angel the arms down, tucking the shoulder blades below. Feel that gorgeous lift and spaciousness of the chest. Roll your limbs in and out. Open the palms. And breathe in to all of this space. There's so much room. Hold that lift and expansion. And then huge exhale, make sound. Ha! A liberation from all that constraint. Inhale. And big exhale. Ha! One more time, inhale. Breathe in, breathe in, get huge. Huge. And then exhale. And let go. Let the breath go. Let the body go. Slowly shutting down the systems. The eyes fall back into the sockets toward the skull. And we imagine shutting down even in that part of the brain that is always on. Shut that breaker switch down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, fresh morning air. And exhale. On your next inhale. Reach your arms back, stretch out through your legs, through your toes, through your fingers, just luxuriate in all of this space that you made this morning. Really take note of it. It's probably pretty significant. Draw your left knee in and roll to your right, cuddle into a fetal position, now getting really small. So juxtaposing that spaciousness, tighten into this little ball and breathe into your back. Bring all that expansiveness into the back body. And then use your left hand, press down, and come on up to a seat. Cross legs, sit on a prop if you need to, to stabilize. And then reach your arms up. 
Feel how long you are. Look up, breathe in as you're looking up. Keep looking up, exhale. Start to fan your hands up and down like you're hot. Fluffing the energy around you, the space around you. And then find the resistance. Imagine a connection, a magnetic connection between your hands and press the hands toward each other. A few inches away, you're gonna really feel it. Push through it and press the palms. Thumbs into the center of the chest, elbows wide. Use that pressure, that activation of the muscles in the back to sit up even taller. Breathe in. Exhale all your air out. Inhale deeply for Om. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center, bringing heart to mind. Connecting the brain and the heart today, you will live from this deep place of integrity and truth. Enjoy it. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Namaste. Hi guys. Thank you, so much. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Dad. We're gonna. I'm gonna stay and do a little more. So if you guys have time to stay, stay. And if you have to go, go. And um, is that Finley in back of you? What? <laughs> <laughs> I have a. 